Picture this, most of us are still stuck honking in traffic, debating whether to grab a roadside snack while we crawl at five miles per hour. Meanwhile, Rwanda just looked at the future, shrugged and said, why not fly over it? Yes, Rwanda became the first African nation to publicly test a self-flying electric taxi. While New York is still arguing about bike lanes, Kigali is literally taking off. The star of the show, the E-Hang 216, a fully autonomous, pilotless electric aircraft. Translation, no grumpy driver, no arguing over fuel prices, and absolutely no my Uber driver missed the turn again. Two seats, 16 rotors, a cruising speed of 130 kilometers per hour, and it turns a 45-minute traffic jam into a five-minute flight. Now that's what I call skipping the queue. And safety? Forget your uncle's 1999 Corolla. This thing has backup systems for its backup systems. Even if half its motors failed, which is almost impossible, you'd still land safely. Basically, it's the kind of ride your mother might actually trust. But here's the real twist. Why Rwanda, not Tokyo, not Dubai? Rwanda, a country that, just 30 years ago, was rebuilding from tragedy, is now building an aviation future so advanced it's leaving global giants scratching their heads. The secret, while other nations drown in red tape, Rwanda set up smart regulations, tested drones since 2016, and today, 75% of their blood deliveries outside Kigali are done by drones. Yes, while some countries argue about delivering pizzas by drone, Rwanda is literally saving lives with them. And the economics? Helicopter rides can cost you $500 a trip. Rwanda's flying taxis could drop that to just $20 to $50 per ride one scale. Imagine ordering a flying cab on your phone like it's just another ride-hailing app. That's not sci-fi anymore, it's Kigali reality. So what's the big picture? Rwanda isn't just testing cool gadgets. They're rewriting the playbook, using challenges like bad roads and tough terrain, not as excuses, but as opportunities to leapfrog the world. The question is, when will the rest of us catch up? Because while we're still arguing about potholes, Rwanda is literally soaring above them. So tell me, would you trust a pilotless flying taxi to get you to the airport? Or are you still team four wheels on the ground? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing stories right here on Autopulse.